What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lex Feldhaus and we are here with another Triton high stakes cash game. This was played during a London where the Triton million was last year. We've seen lots of big pots, this man Shanghai Wong involved in quite a few of them. The game is 2,000, 4,000 pounds with a 4,000 big blind ante. Here we see Tom Dwan, legend on both the internet and in live poker. One of YouTube's favorites. Uh, we see all players here with uh, an 8 high hand. Tenchuan opening up the action from the cutoff, very aggressive, 8 2 suited. There we see a Wai Kenyong who eventually would go on to win the 100,000 No Limit Hold'em main event. <laughs> all three players flop an 8. Tenchuan with the worst of it, they're gonna chop quite a bit on this board. Tenchuan gonna continue. And Elton Sang goes for a raise here. You'll see good and aggressive players, or good aggressive players, go for lots of uh, check raises with middle and bottom pairs when they're out of position. The advantage being that you don't make any bad falls on the turn. You know, let's say uh, Tenchuan has ace 10 and the turn is a queen, and he bets again, then Elton is most likely gonna fold his hand. So you avoid getting bluffed, you don't give a free card, you kind of play it like uh, a two pair draw almost, so it's it's, it's sort of a semi bluff while you deny your opponent some, some equity to hit better cards. Very common these days. Another benefit is that you push out Wyke and Young behind you. Oh my, it's Call along with a gut shot, a hand like jack 7. We push him out the pot this way. I mean, in fact, he got him to fold an 8 with a better kicker. Tenshwa not buying it yet. That is a very good card there for Elton. He hits to pair. It is a diamond though, so... His two pair is quite hidden. There's no way Tenchuan is gonna expect that five uh, to improve Elton, but it is a diamond, and there's a big chance that Elton Sang would check raise his flush draws on the flop. Six seven also gets there. He would make a straight on the turn. So uh, this might worry uh, Tenchuan a little bit. Elton takes it down. <laughs> Says he hit a 5 on the turn. It's funny that he shows a black card too. That is going to make the attention point think a little bit. It's in his mind very unlikely that he's up against 9-5. Pocket 5 is 8-5 there, so that'll make him think maybe he got bluffed by a hand like 5-7 or 5-6. Very interesting card to show. I like uh, little needles like that. All these guys good friends, of course. Elton on the button now, much better position for him. Really like that they've added an ante. Always increases the action. The round of poker just becomes more expensive. In almost all uh, cash games these days and high stakes tournaments, you'll see a, a big blind ante, meaning that the big blind puts in the ante for everyone. Much faster than asking ante, ante, ante every single round to every single player. I like how much this guy's always talking about the hands after. 
妈的，发个发我的死了！啊，挣钱吗？发什么？发个八发个五不是的吗？啊哈，我看你大大腿还是小腿嘛？啊哈。That's insane. He has the button again, of course, because Wai Kenyong set out while he was in the small blinds. Oh, we got some hands here. Mr. Liang is just calling from the small blind with pocket eights, and Shanghai Wang with sixes. Some potential fireworks, and that's trip eights for Mr. Liang. And Elson's going to be really happy with his jacks on his boards. He's going to bet a little bit over half pot. There is a flush draw. There are some straight draws out there as well. So let's see if uh, Mr. Liang is going to play this fast or not. Yes. It looks like it looks like it's gonna go for ninety thousand. Ninety thousand pounds. From this, this is trouble for Elton. Fishy. It's so hard to just put your opponent straight on a, a set when there's so many draws out there. That's why these boards are really good to check raise. And even though these guys are playing four hundred thousand pounds deep, effectively. It's only 100 big blinds. Big blinds, 100 big blinds go in all the time in cash game. It's just a staggering amount because of uh, the nature of this high stakes game. It's gonna call. He is in position. He gets to take a peek at what uh, Mr. Liang is gonna do on a turn. Oh, what a turn for both players. A dream turn for Mr. Liang. I don't think Elton is going to accept uh, Mr. Liang's check raise to involve a whole lot of sevens. Mr. Liang more the type of player to, to call them, see a turn play it out there. 60,000. No way to get away from that. Huh? The 7 also makes it less likely that Mr. Liang has a hand like 8-7 or pocket 7s. So if you don't think your opponent check raises a 7 on the flop, and now it's less likely that he has a combination that beats you because of the board pairing. Then you might be in trouble. So get it, so get it. Full la. Yeah, there they go. That's how comfortable Elton was on that board. And this is a nine hundred thousand pound pot. Yeah, that's rough news for Elton. You raise pre, you check raise flop. Okay. Okay. Give me. Okay. 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 Give me. Face down. Okay. He wants to squeeze it. What a moment there for Miss Liang as well. How much? 
No, it was a four. <laughs> that just shows how comfortable these guys are and how well they know each other. Let's him sweat the card himself. CST. I haven't seen ST uh, play much Nolan at Holland before. He's extremely good at short deck. Just a solid player in general. So, really cool we get to see a little bit more of him here. Tenshuan getting a little frisky here from the small blinds, offsuited ace. Both players break. This game gets very loose now. People start playing a, a lot of uh, very weak offsuited combinations. We saw the ace five offsuit. Now we see the eight seven offsuit opened, and we saw the eight do suit at the open in the cutoff. Those are all opens you normally don't really see. This might be a, an indicator that we're gonna keep seeing uh, fireworks. Both players flop a gut shot. Elton Sang has the initiative from pre-flop, which also always generates a bit of fall equity. Why can Young with the position though? Interesting to see what Wai Ken Yong wants to do here. Against the preflop raiser, you don't really want to see a Broadway card come off when it when they call on the flop. Wai Ken needs the bet to win. Well, wow, great pressure, 60k. Almost pots. Elton has to figure out what his opponent would be betting that big with. Would he even bet a hand like Queen Jack, Queen 10? Would he bet a king on the turn? 8 7. Just too weak to even consider. White can get it down, some nice pressure by him there. Fearless. Elton's not going to be happy uh, with the spot that he's in. Good to see uh, to get rid of the A6 offsuit. 
It very makes sense. I love that that look of disgust on Tom's face whenever he has the fold still hasn't changed in 10 years. Like, All right. Now, opening it up with the sixes. You see, why can Yang coming in on a straddle? Is ST just immediately gonna take one of his first hands in a straddle pot to three bet bluff with queen for suited? That he does. 80,000. This is how uh, a straddle can bump up a game. Oh, I a strong hand here. Poker pairs are better. They're really good if you're really short or really deep, but it's still very powerful uh, anywhere within. The straddle definitely makes this game uh, relatively more shallow. He's gonna shove. That is a solution. <laughs> Immediately laughs at his friend. He knows what ST is capable of. Puts in half a million pounds. Love watching this man play. Always involved in big pots. So no straddle this time. ST taking the calmer approach. Nice thing about eights and sevens and sixes and those kind of pairs is it doesn't really matter how many people behind you come along. You're still gonna feel as comfortable when you hit three of a kind. That's top air for Ten Chuen. I'll just say with a straight draw. Going anywhere. Why can Young bottom pair 
There's one spade on the board. Backdoor flush draw might entice him to uh, to peel one off. Looks like he's check raising. Wow, this guy's play is so aggro. Makes it 90,000. Tenchuan has not just his check raise to worry about, but he also has Elton Sang behind him. If he thinks there's a chance Elton Sang has a jack with a better kicker, or if he's slow playing something, then he's in a world of hurt. Playing multi-way with top pair medium kicker is very tough. Because usually there's one guy with a draw and one guy that has you beat. Possibly have you beat. In this case he is good though. This just shows why the move for, by uh, Y Kenyong is so good. Hard board to get folds on, and he's up against multiple opponents, so we'll see if this works. Wow, well, I guess I'm to lay it down. Now Elton. Elton is out of position. Has an open ender though. Can assume that all of his outs are clean. There's no flush draw on the flop either. So he has eight outs. He's gonna make the call. That's an ace on the turn. It's two pair for Wyke and Young. It's kind of the two pair draw that we talked about earlier. Not just bluffing your hand has serious chance to improve. goes from please fall to please call 140,000 big side from Elton is gonna get rid of it There's nothing going right for Elton at the moment Let's see, coming out for a race. Yeah. I definitely like that Elton is going for an aggressive action here. Especially with this image currently. He's just lost a massive pot. Lost a lot of pots after that as well. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
Where is Elton gonna come along? Some pretty looking hands. If one of those hands would hit the flop, then all of them would, but no dice on this board. Ten high down. Shang Wong, of course, winning that big pot against Tom Duan earlier in this session. Pretty card that it's so hard as well when you just play a high sex cash game like this, you don't get that many hands. I mean, even playing 150 hands can take hours and hours and hours. It took you most of the day to play 150 hands, and it's so common to just be card that or a little bit unlucky in 150 hands. It's all about two or three pots, really. Again, everyone missing the flop. Like and Young with the best hands. Tough board to take a stab at. Very likely somebody will have a calling hand on that board. Wonder. King on the river for him. Is he gonna bet it for some value? Or is he gonna check to hope that White and Young will make a bluff at it? How much you're down? Huh? How much you're down? I'm not down. Huh? Are you even? I think so. You're only in four? I think so. <laughs> think more. Huh? Think more. Huh? I think more, man. Really? Oh. Doesn't get a call. Tom Duan in the mix now. See Elton straddling. Oh, 
Let's see with it. Very good hands. Gonna call in the small blinds. I like the folds from Tom. He's up against an early position. Razor and a caller from the small blinds. When you hit an ace, it's very unclear if it's gonna be good or not. When you hit a four, almost definitely not good. Or at least very hard to get to the river. Offsuited aces play very poorly uh, after the flop when you're with multiple people. Especially in a game as aggressive as this. Really like uh, that fold. Good to see. Bybit, a crypto derivatives exchange with high liquidity, no overloads, and downtime. Tenchuan flops best there. It's gonna continue small. Makes the label that he uh, could get called by some straight draws, weaker tens, fours. Tenshi went out with a 4 3 suited. Wang Kiong on the defense. That's a great flop for Wang Kiong. He flops a nut flush draw. Tenshi Wang gets an ace high board. As a pre flop raiser, it's quite nice because it's very easy to represent that ace or a strong Broadway combination on this board. Kenyon going for the check call. There it is. He makes the nuts. Let's see if Tenshwan is done with his hand or if he thinks that he can convince his opponent to either fold an 8 or a queen. Always hate to see it when you turn the nut flush and then your opponent checks behind.
Yeah. Turns going quickly folded as soon as he saw chips were going in. I love these little mini jabs you guys, these guys take after every pot to each other. Just look at each other, make somebody feel like they made a bad fall, smile at each other, sometimes flat out laugh at each other. I feel like the bigger the pot is, the more they laugh at each other. Small pot's not worth needling for, but when you stack somebody for 400,000, now that's when you really want to needle somebody, it seems. Of course, you can only do that when you're really good friends or very familiar with each other. Right, we're going to hear from Shanghai Wang again, making it 11,000 pounds from under the gun. Belton was saying he's still even. It's hard to track, honestly, with uh, all these big pots. Young Ajak offsuits. Strongest position in the game. Mr. <laughs> Liang gonna take a shot at this one. Shanghai Wong is thinking about squeezing here. I like this move. Very nice, makes it 46,000. Why can Yong is very aggressive. Won't miss a whole lot of opportunities to uh, raise on the button. Let's see a flop between these two. <laughs> that is a miss for uh, Shanghai Wong, but it's also a board he could possibly get some folds on from his opponent. Gonna go for the check, hits the turn. Interesting card. Why can Yang now has a double gut shot? Can make a straight with a nine or a king. Both mine? Check. Not me, I don't think. Ooh, quick check from Shanghai Wong, that's very interesting. I'm not sure, but I don't think. No. Haven't had water in a while. There's the river for Wai Kin Yang. Of course, an ace and a jack were also good. Is he gonna find a value bet here? He might be a little bit worried that his opponent has specifically ace king. Yeah, he does check it, doesn't see the merits. Shanghai Wong gonna be disappointed that his 10 is no good. Wait, is, is Shanghai Wong lying about his hand again? It sounded like he said King Jack. He's done this, he's done this a few times already, which is really funny because it's all recorded, but you know, obviously it doesn't matter. It's just a, just a funny thing. He even did it earlier when he had a ace queen suited and he said that he had aces in a big, uh, big pot. As if ace queen suit is not good enough already. Looked like Tenshu I wanted to go for something heroic there. To 
out of three players flop a seven. Limp pot, so always gonna be smaller. Even though there's already twenty thousand pounds in the middle. I see the Ang debating this one. There he comes. Really wants to say here, listen guys, if you had something strong, I think you would have raised pre-flop. A very nice move here. I think Mr. Liang is a very like calm image at the table, so people don't really expect him to make moves like this. Very well done. Read the situation correctly. <laughs> Alton Sang, solid hands. Opening from early position here. Shanghai Wong, one bit better. You're arranging short deck game? You're arranging short deck game? Arranging? Yeah. Where? Oh no, I thought that you were talking short deck. Why would I arrange short deck game alone? Wait. I don't know, I didn't. But it sounded like. Maybe I guessed wrong. A quick short deck game. I only know the numbers, so. 25,000. Yeah, good flop for Elton Sang. Top pair, dry board. <laughs> Shanghai Wang though has a good shot to the nut straight, an open card as well. Can't discount that one. I like this by Elton. He's trying to tell uh, Shanghai Wang here. Listen, I just had an ace or a king hide and raise preflop, and I'm giving up here. So if you want it, you can have it. I really like this uh, play by Elton Sang. Recognize he's gonna get called by a very weak hand oftentimes and really gives the idea to Shanghai Wonger that he can win with a bet. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna make a quick call. Yep, yeah, takes it down, well played. 164,000 pounds. Yeah, well done. Really baited Shanghai Wonger okay. into a bet. Okay. Alright, so we see Straddle here from Elton. So, two, four, eight thousand now. Four thousand anti still coming from the big blinds. Round one, gonna limp. 
4,000 extra, lots of money out there, of course. That's an interesting board. Both players with a very random hand. Tom with top pair. Elton Sang is an open and a straight draw. <coughs> Elton not going anywhere, of course. He has position as well. I'm gonna go for another bet. Elton quickly calls. At this point, Elton could credibly represent a pair if it checks to him on the river. So his only chance of winning is not just hitting an ace or nine, but he feels that if Tom checks, he might be able to take a stab at it and win it that way. It's a tricky spot for Tom. He chops against every single king that's out there, loses against every jack, might not get called by a 10, so I really like his check here on the river. It's really saying, wow, I think the only way more money goes in the pot with me winning is if I let my opponent bet at it. Great check by Elton. Yeah, very tempting, especially after having lost so many pots in a row. I haven't worn a pot all night, so it was going to be pretty hard for you to get me off that one. <laughs> <laughs> not saying it's impossible, but it was, so it was not going to be my first instinct. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> River came, was I was already like claiming it. It was a little limp pot too, right? <laughs> Alright, why can Young now with the straddle to 8,000 pounds? I keep saying the full number instead of 8k because 8,000 pounds is so ridiculous that. This is just a two for eight thousand game. <笑>我不好意思啊 Shanga Wong gonna take a stab at this, or maybe not. Can't think with your hands like that. Just give it up. Elton wins it. Oh, 
其实等一下也好了，方便好了，方便再问你啊。Punch one really wants to get in the mix here. Tom the one with a strong hand, Mr. Liang with a monster. That's a big flop for him. Checks it pretty quickly. Wow, what a turn there. Tan Chuan pulls ahead, trip jacks. This could be trouble for Mr. Liang. Seventeen thousand. He's gonna call. Might be saving grace for him here. There's a third heart that might make Mr. Liang. Well, there's a lot less money here. ST English, they try to shoot at your Tom. Two two biggest fish. Tom. Mm. We are. But finally, today you in the money. Mm. I never in the money. Never? Never. <laughs> never in the money one time. That be a little dumb. Yeah, a dream scenario turned into a very tough spot here for Mr. Liang. Even folding just an ace on this board would be very tough. I'd be incredibly impressed if he gets this done, but it's just no getting away from this. Ten Xuan wins a nice spot there. Very rough spot there for Mr. Liang. And that was the last hand of the session. Watch more episodes on the Triton YouTube channel, of course. Crazy action has been happening, and we have more coming for you next time. My name is Lex Feltas. Thank you for watching.